Hi everyone, it's Cindy and welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're a Sims storyteller or legacy player, then chances are you're going to be interested in the new Sims Legacy Hub. Many players were already familiar with Plumtree, a highly popular website for creating customized Sim family trees. So it was no surprise that when Plumtree announced their pending closure, many players were devastated at the thought of losing generations of gameplay memorialized in custom family trees. But thanks to the efforts of the Awful Gamer and Pacific Creative, the void left by Plumtree has already been filled. Now, shockingly, despite my having played the same save file since The Sims 4 launched nine years ago, I have never kept a custom family tree, something that I sort of now regret. So having received early access to The Sims Legacy Hub, it felt like a good opportunity to change that while testing out the site in the process. And if, like me, you're also curious, now is a good time to jump on board. Because as of the date of this recording, you'll receive a free 7-day trial if you sign up before December 1st, 2023. And from December 1st, the following three price plans will be available. Free, which allows for one tree with up to 300 sims saved to your browser's cache with a shareable link. Pro, at $3 USD, which allows for three trees with up to 400 sims per tree saved to the cloud, plus both a shareable link and shareable tree. And premium at $4 USD, which is the same as the pro version, but with five trees. Regardless of which plan you use, every sim you add to a tree can include a name, pronouns, photo, a bio with up to 5,000 characters, Life Stages, which is a list of both species and ages, and a cult type, including plant sims and even patchy. As you would expect, the life stages run from newborn to elder, and you can mark if the sim is deceased, and if so, the cause of death. The species list is quite impressive, covering not just household pets, such as cats, dogs, and horses, but also rodents, farm animals, robots, ghosts, and even cow plants, because they're family too. Getting started is as easy as clicking the button plus new sim and filling in the details. Choose a screenshot to upload and select the profile photo using an expandable circle with your mouse scroll wheel. Although this step is significantly trickier if, like me, you use a trackpad and it would be nice if there was a drag and expand option the user could opt for if not using a mouse. I started by adding a sim from the current generation of one of my largest families and then adding her siblings. Although, in hindsight, I recommend starting with the first generation and working down, as this helps with the overall organization. Once a sim is added, you can edit, view bio, or create a relationship link by hovering over the node icon. To create a relationship link to another node, click the line and plus symbol icon. Select the type of relationship from which there are many, ranging from abduction to cloning to surrogacy, and then choose the linked sim. Note that a sibling label is not automatically created when you designate a node, even with the same two parents, with the child label, and you will need to add this relationship manually. I'm not sure if this is intentional or if I just haven't fully worked out the intricacies of the system yet. And while there is an extensive list of relationship labels already present, including half-sibling, I would like to see step-sibling and step-parent relationships added, as well as labels to identify sets of twins and triplets. The whole tree design is very drag-and-drop friendly, and you can freely move and reposition nodes wherever you like. That being said, I did find that once I had a good handful of nodes in my tree, that it was becoming increasingly difficult to click on and select the node I wanted. But if you're looking for a more uniform and organized look, which I also found helped with the misclicking, you can turn on the grid snap feature, which as the name suggests, adds a grid background to which the nodes will snap for easy spacing. Note that you will need to turn this feature back off again before you can freely drag your tree to move around the screen. You'll also notice an ever-growing list of the sims added to your tree in the left-hand menu column. These are handily organized alphabetically, and when clicked on, will center your tree view on the chosen sims node, allowing you to quickly and easily find any sim, even in the most extensive and intricate tree. A count of the total number of sims added to the tree is also found at the bottom of this list. Once you're happy with your tree and want to share it, there are a few different ways to go about this, depending on your account type. For free accounts, click the share button to receive a shareable link. This allows others to see your tree layout and click on sim nodes, which opens their bio card, but locks the tree from editing or changing the layout. 
One potentially concerning aspect of the free account to note, however, is that your tree is only saved to your browser's cache. So clearing your cache would effectively erase hours of hard work creating your tree. For pro and premium accounts, trees are stored in the cloud, avoiding the risk of deletion, and you can receive both a shareable tree and link. Overall, while I've only just begun to scratch the surface of The Sims Legacy Hub, and there is definitely a learning curve to the process, there is certainly also a lot of potential here. And if you're an avid legacy player who loves to create intricate stories, dynamics, and family trees, then you'll definitely need to add this site to your storytelling toolbox. And while I've never bothered to keep a custom family tree of my Sims, this experience has inspired me to give it a go. Let me know in the comments below if you plan to try it out, and I'd love to see your family trees if you do. That's everything for today. I hope you found this review and tips useful, and if you did, a like is always much appreciated. And if you're new, why not subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified of future videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and have a lovely day.